Yo, what's good guys? It's um, the 30th of December. We're currently just chilling out in my car and I literally don't have anything else to do right now because we are currently shopping for some stuff, which is why I am starting this vlog. This could be vlog number one of many, I think. So anyway, what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna just video now. I'm not gonna be doing anything today, but I'll pick back up filming tomorrow about some stuff. Because what we're doing today is we're going to get some stuff to ski with. So then tomorrow we can go to the summit and just have an awesome day skiing. We're gonna be doing that for a couple days, so I'll be sure to vlog that and make some cool shots and tricks and all that other stuff. So yeah, cue me waking up tomorrow morning. Two hours later. Morning y'all, it is like 6.50 the next day. And we got a whole bunch of ski stuff yesterday, and now we are all set to go. And we're having a quick breakfast as we leave the car, and about to head up to the top of the mountain. So it's gonna be pretty dope. I'll get a whole bunch of new shots for that. And also, got to mention, it's the last day for the decade in the year and the month or whatever. It's 31, so. Should be a good day reminiscing a whole bunch of stuff and I'll just sure to live it up today and I'll also make sure that I film it on too. So y'all will enjoy this. It's gonna be a dope vlog. Yo, what's good guys? I've been skiing practically all day. Sorry I haven't filmed much. I just haven't had time, but I'll probably film next time we're up here a little bit. Still got some runs, so we we'll get a few shots in, but it's going great. Just conquered some double blacks. It's been freaking nuts. My dad and my brother have also been conquering them too, so it's been great family time. And we're just still riding, so yeah, let's get it. A few moments later. All right, so we're currently at the cabin chilling out and apparently we have to vacate because the septic system apparently, um, let's just say is not doing good and the toilets are out. So we're going back home, and I'm going to be streaming these next few days. Yeet. <laughs> so, I found out that's a decent thing, but Happy New Year, everyone. Day 2. Hello, guys. This is post-production me, and realizing I forgot footage, I get to explain things now. So what we're doing is, um, in this part of the video, we, um decided to build a lego set because we were all at home chilling out and my siblings actually had the flu so that was a very 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 bad situation but thankfully i didn't get it at that time so we were just kind of thinking what could we do you know and so we decided oh let's build legos because we have a ton of legos in our basement and that's exactly what we did we went down to build legos and we destroyed a whole bunch of stuff and made this huge base so i'll let i'll let them explain it right now Meanwhile, so we're gonna destroy this thing now. So, I'm using it for walls, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna use it for walls, we're gonna use it for landing pad. I did this for a freshman class experiment or whatever for Shakespeare, so it was a good globe theater. But that's a whole lot of building you have to do. Yeah, I know it took me forever, but once it was done, it's done. We're gonna use it for something else. Let's draw about Legos. You can use it for whatever. So, bye, globe theater. It was good. Doing you. So far, this is what we have. We have this big giant base. We got like a control room for all the people in there. And the funny thing cool is it turns. So you can see that, it's pretty cool. And then we got like a ship hanger. So we got three ships in here. And then we got like a weird door formation with a secret room. Oh, wait, wait, you should have like this guy like. Oh yeah, he could be in the middle. Yeah, here, actually here, no, no, no. Take, no, no, no. Take this off and then put it in. There you go, he's a hologram. Yeah, this guy's bad, kick him out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kick him out. All right, yeah, and then we have like the bad guys out there. And then this cool is we have a doorway right here that opens up like this and closes. Like, I'm the new one. And then this doorway tilts open like this. It's kind of in the works, but we'll get it down. 
And yeah, that's really it. And we got more, but we will show you when we really build Yeah, we start, we still need to build it, but we'll probably work on it like tomorrow or to light tonight later and stuff. But yeah, it's, it's going pretty good. One eternity later. Yo, what's up guys? We're back here. Skiing, day two. Currently at Love One now, not at Keystone. So that's kind of new terrain, new areas to be at and stuff. But uh, I brought my camera, you can see right here. I brought it with me. So we're gonna get some dope footage with it. And hopefully it'll be a good solid run, especially for today. So we're gonna do some double black VXs. So that should be totally fun. So yeah, we're gonna get some footage and have a good time. Go back, 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 back. There's a lot of GoPro footage in this video, I know at the end there's a lot of stuff, but trust me, it gets better as it's going. As you see the hill, kind of what I'm going down right now, this is when I really start getting into it. This is when I'm like fully warmed up, fully practiced, and just kind of fully in the moment of just what's going on down in the resort and stuff. And it just kind of got getting better. I mean, I fell a couple of times, as you saw one of those falls. And then we kind of just went on the higher lifts, as you can see in the next clip, where it's starting to get heavier in snow, and the moguls are big, and the powder is nice and fresh, and it's just piling up, and it's like, it was a long time to get down these last few runs, especially getting down the one that you're seeing now, you know, it just took forever just trying to find, oh, where's the sweet spot? Where do I go? What am I trying to do? to get out you know and then it's like when i come to this view i just see oh my word this thing is steep right next to the lift but thankfully i was able to kind of find a way to just weave on through a little bit i don't know if you are all seeing that but as a skier you just want to try and find the safest way down possible while at the same time maintaining your speed and control so that way you can get down quicker if needed and as you see in the end i find a way out to just kind of get through and then i get on the lift but this is where the highlight of the ski trip was and it is starting right here where this person is and this person was actually pretty cool. How's your ski day event? Not gonna, I was skiing Good, I just been by myself. Long, I split it's off great. from my cousins yeah. who were with me. My parents were sick at the time. Great. Like I said, oh, yeah, for sure, I, didn't expect so snow. I was the yeah. only one who um, actually went with them who wanted to ski. And me being no, I'm alone, from I didn't have anyone okay, you know, cool. to ski with so, I met this person on the lift, and she was actually pretty nice. I talked to her for a little bit, as you can kind of see. That's pretty big. It really just kind of changed how um, the, the run went. I just did that, yeah. So she was pretty cool to talk to. She was a pretty good skier. She was asking where I was going on the route. I mean, exposure-wise, you have some parts that are like, all right, I'll follow you. As much powder, like, and yeah, areas. I'll just show you guys the um, whole thing. No, no, not okay. much rocks. It's more ice and just powder. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. I meant like a hard object. Oh, hard objects? Yeah, no, there's like, nothing. Like, I've been going through the trees and there's a lot of like limbs that are still, like, a lot of like dead oh, yeah. trees and rocks and. Yeah, that's all not good. <laughs> yeah, over there, there's so much powder, it's like completely covered. Cool. So, it might be worth checking out this, this one right here. Yeah, over the rainbow. 
But as I was um, talking to this person, it wasn't like where we were just kind of getting to know each other like friends. You know, it almost seemed like she knew who I was in a sense. And she kind of knew really? yeah, neither like, have I. what was going to happen in the future. It's been interesting so far. And that's basically kind of Yeah, I'm retired already. Because I will um, I still got this to do. to what happened in a minute. And we still got this to do. We're just kind of slowly going down this route. And this route was like the same one I did previously, so it wasn't like the worst thing in the world. Because I was used to it. But the fact that she was with me just made me have someone to come pick me up and over it when I fell, you know, and luckily, on this run, I actually did have a few falls, and one of them was actually pretty bad, and I couldn't get up on it, and so it was very interesting, and she helped me up and stuff, it was very, I didn't realize, very I didn't realize there's a lot of branches, because it's like this person didn't know who I was, but she kind of like, was there for me, and then kind of just like followed me, and just kind of wanted to be there, because like she knew something. That's what I did, I went through there. Him, I didn't know what was going on, it was like a I just went through that side. angel moment, I guess, I think. And so, yeah, I got helped up right there. Stuff pretty steep! And, um, she just kind of, you know, me up a little bit, and then we just kind of traveled down, and then once that was over, just never saw each other again it was very interesting i didn't enjoy it so much then, i guess i can't really describe it as anything else because it was just a weird encounter i guess ah there's some ice right there Sounds good. Right to me, thank you. And the ski also that she threw to me was like super high up, so I couldn't have hiked to it if I really wanted to. So the fact that she was there to hand it to me was actually pretty amazing because that would have taken me forever to go on up and grab it. And so I put the ski on, I Denver? Nice. get back on my skis and yeah, I just kind of go down the mountain, but like really after that, we didn't say anything. I mean, she just kind of like got up ahead and left, you know. It's like usually when you ski with someone else, you know, like say thank you or best wishes to you or good luck the rest of the day or whatever. But like this was different. She just kind of like went and then left, and then we didn't say anything to each other after that. And it was kind of weird because like usually you say that to other people when they leave and stuff, you know. And it's like, oh, yeah, thank you for helping me. Or thank you for doing this, you know? It wasn't like that. Just helped, gone. That was what it was. And you can kind of see her up in front, too. Like, I try and get in the single line, try and like, get her attention. I don't want to say anything, because, like, she was the head and stuff. I was going to kind of pull her over next to her and say thank you or something. But she just kind of like went up ahead and just started doing her own thing, you know? And it's like, I respect that. Skiers are supposed to be doing things, especially when they're singles. But like, you know, I didn't get to say hi to her or whatever. And that was, that was it. So, but yeah, this is when I cut over into the other side of the resort. And this was actually another amazing story too. So about around this time, this was the last run that I did. We were on top, or excuse me, I was on top of the mountain. And this was the same run that I bombed earlier. And we kind of, I kind of just went down low, you know, normally minding my business and stuff, doing all the things that I could do in that moment and just trying to think about what could happen. And then kind of as you see, when I get to like the middle of another lift and stuff, I run into my uncle and my hey! uh, cousin, and it's funny because there's like about 20,000 different types of skiers Last run? at this yeah, resort. Yeah, so, well, it's it's, it's a cool. pretty big number. Huh, now you're good. But like, there's a lot of people there, so the fact that I ran into them was a super low probability, which was even more amazing, kind of just to add on to what happened on another double black. And so I kind of just rode down with them the whole time and, you know, just ended the day with that and it was pretty dope i enjoyed it and i think they enjoyed it too 
and it was just a weird but fun overall day so yeah that was that was about it for that ski trip